Anybody else here go to Fuck Yeah Fest? <laughs> yes. Don't. <laughs> Fuck Yeah Fest is a music festival that takes place out in uh, Los Angeles National Historical Park. It's not so much a park as it is a Depression-era dust bowl that somebody threw wood chips on. They're like, go play, hippies. Um, and the Fuck Yeah Fest, uh, which, by the way, the name throws a lot of the musicians that are performing. They're like, hey, Fuck Yeah Fest! Bravo! Good on you! Good, good teamwork out there. Real proud of what we're doing. Oh, just, just excellent work all around. Um, but Fuck Yeah Fest has changed its name recently to be the FYF Fest. Uh, the Fuck Yeah Fest Fest. It's like an ATM machine, which is actually what FYF Fest was for me. Uh, turns out water is real expensive. And by water, I mean Brock water. And by Brock water, I mean gin. Um, but they did this because you can't put a big sign that says fuck in a bunch of shop windows and expect people to be okay with it. So it's the FYF. Here's the problem. There's a band that plays every year called Fucked Up. And their name is right there on the poster, just underneath, in a slightly different font. Is that our social contract? Is that what we're saying? If, if it's a curse word, but it's in a slightly different font, it's okay. If so, that's great news for my children's book, Cunt Wrecker. When I first submitted Cunt Wrecker to Random House, they called it an abhorrent use of the English language. But I think they'll see that when I put it into Comic Sans, it's a delight for the whole family. Look for it at Walmart. <laughs> so at the FYF Fest, F, F, F uh, if you've ever been to a multi-day music festival, you know what to expect. Roving gangs of dirty hippies, just the filthiest humans imaginable. Just right. So I thought I would dress to fit in. I wore some cutoffs and a t-shirt that just said the word acid. <laughs> if you've ever wanted to let those roving gangs of dirty people know that they can just come up and hug you any time they want. <laughs> May I recommend a word acid across a shirt? It's all you need, it's just a big go sign for them to come up and surprise you in the night from behind. A girl licked me, a girl just ran up and licked me. <laughs> Had to explain to her that the shirt was advocating the use of drugs and was not itself drugs. Not that it mattered. <laughs> I'm sure she still got high off of it somehow. Um, I, at one point, I decided I was gonna take a nap, so I laid down in some wood chips, and security came over and was like, are you awake? N no, I, any answer that I give is the answer, is an answer, like that's all you need. And they were like, oh, well, we can't have somebody getting too drunk and falling asleep. It's like, well, I was sleeping peacefully. Why don't you talk to the guy in just cowboy boots and a Speedo, <laughs> screaming at the Red Bull people about capitalism? He seems like a candidate. He seems like a candidate for anarchy. Maybe talk to him. So in order to continue my nap, I pulled out a Sharpie and wrote, not drunk on my face. <laughs> that, security loved that. Uh, security, everybody, not because that's the drunkest thing that anyone could ever do, but because at Fuck Yeah Fest, Sharpies are not allowed. <laughs> Don't know why. Did they think I was gonna watch Dinosaur Jr. and just be like, I'm straight edge now, gotta put an X on here. No more drinking for me, sorry. Uh, so they <laughs> take my Sharpie away. And then I got to see two of my favorite bands. Now, one of the bands is called The Faint, and that is the only band that I dance to every song and don't care how I look, because that's what they have to do, too. Because uh, they're in a band, and they have the hardest job in rock and roll, which is, of course, making it look cool to play a keyboard. Uh, and not just a keyboard, like Elton John, like putting together a song, like a synthesizer, where you can only play like one note at a time, and you're often not lead, needed for large parts of the song. So they just live in their own personal little st Studio 54 disco and so. It's cocaine ballet, and it's beautiful to watch. It's amazing. <laughs> but the other band that I got to see was a band called Cursive, and they're the only band that I scream along to every single word, whether anyone wants me to or not. <laughs> they have a lot of songs. I don't want the lead singer to forget <laughs> any of the words. Uh, and it's not, it's not that I love him. 
It's not that I have a bunch of fan fiction about how we sneak off to wine country together on the weekends. It's not that I have a pet name for him. His name's Tim Cash, or I call him T-Pain Cash Money. Anyway, <laughs> we're there at the festival, and I'm there. And here's the thing about being a tall guy at, at a music show. You're hated by just about everyone. And I get it. I get it. You paid an unreasonable amount of money, and all of a sudden, you can just see this. And that's fine. And that's when you yell, move, fag, and throw a beer. And I turn around and say, oh, yeah, you know, I'm in the wrong. Standing in your way, I came here two hours before you did to support the unsigned unknown bands. Like a jackass, that one's really on me. I'm sorry about that. But there's a weird reverse sort of order to the sort of shows where somebody's gonna get aggro with you. Like at the most angry like metal stuff, no one ever gives a shit. But you get up into like a show that's very intimate, very small. These are the shows I call DEF CON 1. Because not only is no one moving or doing anything, the audience is probably made up mostly of people that have never been in a fight before. So they don't know when they're provoking you that they're taking on a six, seven, half Swedish, half German murder machine that will end them. This is why the only fight I've ever had in my entire life was when I destroyed a man's nose at a Ben Folds concert. Note, I did not say Ben Folds five. I don't mean with drums and pianos. I mean a sad man at a sad piano in a silent room. Who heard the nose explode because you can't not hear that and stopped the song to, in his best disappointed dad voice, just go, come on, Chicago, and went right back into it. <laughs> so I'm at the Fuck Yeah Fest, and that's not an issue I'm having. I'm not really, but I am a head taller than everyone else, and I'm near the front, and I'm screaming at Tim Kasher, all the words he's saying, and then he flubs a line, something I'd never seen him do, and it looked like this. We all know art is hard and simple. My first thought was, oh no, I shouted the wrong word and threw him off. Tim, I'm sorry. What I came to realize what he probably saw was a few feet away from his face, kissing distance. He could have kissed, um, but he's not because he's withholding. Uh, a guy in a shirt that says acid with dust getting into his eyes so it makes him cry a little and those tears have caused the words not drunk to run like mascara down his cheeks. And Tim had to think, I made this, and what do I think of this? Damn, no thanks, I just, toodles. That was close. What he actually saw, much to my surprise, was all of that, but on the horizon behind us, in Angeles National Forest, 30 minutes earlier, a car had exploded, and it started a forest fire, and so rising above the horizon was a perfect mushroom cloud, a Cold War era mushroom cloud. And so the thought process he must have had at this point was, oh, oh this is how it ends, this is great, this is great. No, at a festival where when they talk about my death, they can't even write the name of it in the paper. Well, I came to a profanity festival. This is what I, uh, ends like this. Not with my loved ones, but on stage with these jack-offs, playing for these jack-offs, and that one there who's clearly jacking off. There's just no... <laughs> well, death, I welcome thee. Hey, fuck yeah, fest, fuck you. And I can say fuck, because my band's name is Cursive. It's a different font. <laughs>